Hello future LPTs, welcome to our lit review for professional education and this is all about technology for teaching and learning part 1. So in this video we'll go through 15 multiple choice questions covering foundational concepts of educational technology plus short rationalizations to help you better understand how technology enhances teaching and learning. So let's get started. Number one, which term refers to the integration of digital tools into classroom instruction to promote deeper learning? Letter A, blended learning. Letter B, flipped classroom. Letter C, gamification. Or letter D, technology integration. Okay, the correct answer is letter D, technology integration. So technology integration is the purposeful uh, use of digital tools to support and enhance learning. So for letter A, blended learning, it is a model of combining online and face-to-face -face learning. For flipped classroom, letter B, it is a method and not a general term for this one. And for letter C, gamification is using game elements, not integration of technology uh, or not integration overall. So only letter D is the best answer. Number two, which tool is best used for collaborative writing projects? Letter A, YouTube. Letter B, Microsoft Excel. Letter C, Google Docs. Or letter D, Kahoot. The correct answer is letter C, Google Docs. So Google Docs allows multiple users to collaborate and edit in real time. Again, we are talking here about uh, collaborative writing. So Google Docs is the best answer. For letter A, the YouTube, uh, YouTube is for video consumption. And for uh, Microsoft Excel, this is uh, this one is for spreadsheets, not writing. And for Kahoot is for quizzes. So letter C is the best answer. Number three, what does SAMR model stand for in, in technology education? Letter A, substitute, add, modify, reform. Letter B, substitute, augment, modify, redefine. Letter C, support, align, modify, reflect. Or letter D, simplify, assess, monitor, recreate. The correct answer is letter B, substitute, augment, modify, redefine. So the SAMR model describes levels of technology integration from basic substitution to full transformation. So um letter b is the best answer so others are just made up or just incorrect um words or incorrect expansions for this so only letter b is the best answer number four a teacher uses a simulation software to teach vo about volcanic eruptions what level of samr is this letter a substitution letter b augmentation Letter C, modification, or letter D, redefinition. Okay, the correct answer is letter D, redefinition. So, a simulation offers uh, experiences not possible without technology. So, that's why this is called transforming learning. So, when a teacher uses a uh, simulation software to teach about volcanic eruption, so that is redefinition. For letter A, substitution, this is all about merely replacing tools. For letter B, uh, augmentation uh, in this level there is a slight enhancement and for letter C modification this modifies task but is but this one is not transformative so only letter D is the best answer number five what should be the teacher's primary consideration in selecting digital tools letter A popularity among students letter B trendiness and visuals Letter C, alignment with learning objectives, or letter D, ease of installation.
the correct answer is letter C, alignment with learning objectives. So tools must serve instructional goals, not just be fun or trendy. So that's why letter C is the best answer. For letters A and B, uh, popularity doesn't always mean effective. Or when we say a digital tool is popular, doesn't mean it's always uh, effective. And for letter D, uh, convenience is secondary to educational value so the best answer is it must uh, align with the learning objectives number six which is an example of ethical use of technology by a teacher letter a downloading paid software without license letter b giving students access to copyrighted materials freely letter c citing sources when using online materials or letter d sharing test answers online the correct answer of course is letter c citing sources when using online materials so teachers must model academic honesty by citing properly so in this way uh, students can also uh, like learn from the teacher and how to properly cite uh, materials online so letter c is the best answer uh, for letters a b and d these are unethical and violate a uh, copyright or testing protocols number seven which best describes the flipped classroom model letter a teacher gives lecture during class and uh, homework after Letter B, students create their own instructional materials. Letter C, students watch lectures at home and do activities in class. Or letter D, class is fully online with no face-to-face -face component. The correct answer is letter C, students watch lectures in, at home and do activities in class. So this model uh, allows students to apply concepts in class after watching pre-recorded lectures at home. So this best describes a flipped classroom. For letter A, this is the traditional model. For letter B, this is not a flipped class flipped model and for letter D uh, this one is an online learning model not flipped classroom so only letter C is the best answer number eight which characteristic distinguishes digital natives from digital immigrants letter A preference for traditional textbooks letter B high comfort in using technology letter C resistance to technological change or letter D lack of access to digital devices The correct answer is letter B, high comfort in using technology. So digital natives or born into the digital era are naturally fluent with technical tools. So letter B is the best answer. For letters A, C, and D, these are more applicable to digital immigrants or uh, like undeserved populations, uh, shall we say, uh, uh, people who were not born uh, in the digital era so letter B is the best answer number nine using VR or virtual reality to explore historical landmarks is an example of what kind of learning letter A passive learning letter B experiential learning letter C rote learning or letter D abstract learning The correct answer is letter B, experiential learning. So VR or virtual reality allows students to experience environments, fostering deeper understanding of what they are learning. So letter B is the best answer. For letter A, uh, VR is highly interactive and this is not passive. So letter A is not, not the correct answer. Letter C, this, is, this isn't about memorization. And for letter D, 
uh, VR makes learning concrete, not abstract. So only letter B is the best answer. Number 10, which software is best for creating interactive quizzes? Letter A, Microsoft Word. Letter B, Adobe Photoshop. Letter C, Kahoot. Or letter D, Excel. The correct answer is letter C, Kahoot. So Kahoot allows teachers to build engaging interactive quizzes for formative assessment. Microsoft Word for letter A, this is for documents. Photoshop is for design. And for Excel is a spreadsheet tool, not ideal for quizzes. Only letter C is the best answer. Number 11, what is the primary concern when allowing students to browse the internet in class? Letter A, speed of the internet connection. Letter B, design of the browser. Letter C, potential distractions and misuse. Or letter D, cost of the service provider. The correct answer is letter C, potential destruction and misuse. So internet access can distract students or expose them to inappropriate content if they are not supervised. So letter C is the best answer. Letters A and B, these are technical concerns but not primary. And for letter D, a wide, uh, I mean, a school-wide, um, not classroom level issue. So only letter C is the correct answer. Number 12, which is the best example for synchronous online learning? Letter A, attending a live Zoom class. Letter B, watching recorded lectures. Letter C, submitting assignments via email. Or letter D, reading an online textbook. The correct answer is letter A. Synchronous learning occurs in real time, such as live video classes or attending a live Zoom class. Letter A is the correct answer. For the rest of the choices, for letters B, C, and D, uh, these are asynchronous activities. Number 13. What does ICT stand for in education? Letter A, integrated computer techniques. Letter B, Information and Communication Technology. Letter C, Instructional Communication Technology. Or Letter D, Information and Creative Teaching. Okay, no other answer. Of course, letter B, information and communication technology. So this one is universally accepted term referring to the digital communication tools and systems used in education. Number 14, which tool is primarily used for creating visual slide presentations in class? Letter A, MS Word. Letter B, MS Excel. Letter C, MS PowerPoint. Or letter D, MS Outlook. The correct answer, of course, is letter C, MS PowerPoint. So this one is specifically designed for creating visual presentations. For MS Word, is, uh, this one is for word processing, so not slides. Excel is for spreadsheets, not for visual presentation. And Outlook is used for email, so this is not for creating classes. So letter C is the best answer. Number 15, a teacher notices that students are distracted during tech-based lessons. What could be the most likely reason? Letter A, the teacher uses too many jokes. Letter B, the activity lacks meaningful engagement. Letter C, the projector is too bright. Or letter D, the class starts too early. The correct answer is letter B. Engagement and instructional value are critical. So without purpose, technology becomes a distraction. So that's why this, is, this one is the best answer. 
Uh, for letter A, um, you more can be engaging, but it's rarely the the core problem. For letter C, lighting issues are minor and don't typically lead to widespread destruction. For letter D, timing matters, but the design part uh, of the activity is more influential. So letter B is the correct answer. Okay, and that completes part one of our technology for teaching and learning review. So you're doing great job preparing for the lab, so one concept at a time. So comment your scores below and share which uh, technology topics you want to see next. So let's continue supporting each other in this journey. So this is teacher R saying, uh, study hard because by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. Okay, see you in part two. See you future top notchers. Bye-bye.